So I just bought this Bonanza Pinto trailer about a week ago. Now this company went out of business back in 1980, so I do not know what year it was made. Probably the late 70s, I'm guessing. Anyways, I'm gonna do a little video of the way it looks right now. And then I will do another one later when I've got it all spruced up. It's in pretty good condition on the outside. And actually the inside is not too bad, but it needs a definite sprucing up. Now the manufacturer, they were out of Elkhart, Indiana. And like I say, they went out of business back in 1980. Windows are all good, the siding is really good. Needs a little sprucing up, this door needs to be uh, painted. I've renovated a few over the last few years and they came out really good. Needs a good cleaning down there. Needs new tires. Needs a new rear bumper, it's all ratted out underneath the back, underneath the bottom I should say. And it's missing just one light up there. Not a big deal, I'm sure I can find a replacement for that. So let's go inside and I'll show you how it looks at the moment. Now, a previous owner, not the one I bought it from, but the one before that, started to repaint the inside to cover up all the dark paneling, which it was pretty dark. Some of the paneling back in the day was pretty good. Others was way too dark. I put those cushions in there for now just to sit on while I'm in here. There is no table, so I'll have to find a table for it and make one up. Now, they said the fridge still works on electricity. He didn't check it on propane, but I'm not gonna trust it. I'll be ripping that out and putting new stuff in. So I'm gonna go in, finish painting it for now. Like I said, the fellow started. Now there's a, like a closet over there, but it's actually meant for a washroom, I believe. Or just a closet, either or. The floor looks like it might be the original flooring. It's in great shape, but not the best looking flooring, that's for sure. So exactly what I'm gonna do, I'm not sure, but for now I'm gonna paint it up. This here is a, a bunk bed, it folds down. Only meant for a small child. I wouldn't put anybody heavy up there, that's for sure. Now the ceiling, there's no vent in this uh, trailer, which is unusual. So the ceiling is buckling on the inside but I don't think it's leaking. I think it's just from all the humidity, it's caused it to buckle. There should have been a vent on the ceiling or the window should have been left open all the time. So I will be ripping the ceiling down and replacing it with something. Not sure what, maybe some cedar paneling. Anyways, I've taken some of the doors off. So I'm gonna get started, finish the paint job that he started, and then decide what colors I will be using. So this is what the old paneling looks like. And like I said, pretty sure this was just used as a little washroom. There is a small vent there. Again, there probably should have been a vent up there also. Some of the trailers I've had over the years have two vents in the ceiling, but most of them only have one. This size of trailer anyways, the larger ones often have two. But anyways, make sure you come back to my channel. I'm not sure how long this is going to take me, but if you subscribe and hit that little bell, you'll get a notification. Anyways, thanks for watching and you'll have a great day. And I will get started with my paint job. Thanks again. Until the next time, thanks for watching.